Since the installation of a fence and walkway at the western border in Banque Vieja del Carmen, as well as the implementation of immigration cards for Guatemalan students crossing into Belizean territory for school, migrant flow between Belize and Guatemala has been picture perfect. The border communities of Melcher and Banque depend on each other for various reasons. There is also an absence of tension at the border when compared to other areas like the Sarstoon. It is replaced by harmony and respect amongst residents. The legal border crossing out west has become an economic hub for Belizeans and Guatemalans alike who traffic this area for everything from trade to business deals and education. It's the bread and butter for taxi operators as well as food vendors and money changers. To me, the locals, well, the close by, near the nearby neighbors, um, all of Petén, I think they are more likely to prefer that Belize stays as Belize rather than Guatemala winning the claim of our territory and and the business here is good, right? The, everything the relationship. The business is good. The business is good. The relationship is good. We are very friends. The relationship is really, really good. I could go over there, have a nice time, spend one night over there, come back, everything's safe. So uh, uh, here, there's no tension really in terms of uh, Belize and Guatemala. Mm. No, actually, I I have a lot of friends that are from Melchor, and they have me and several of my friends here. Well, we all get together, we all have a nice time, we all live life like yeah. well, like one big happy family. Check. Belizeans from across the country are being asked to make a historic decision on whether or not the territorial claim between both countries should be taken to the International Court of Justice for final resolution. Benkevejo residents question the relevance of having a court decide on the matter. There is a sense that border communities like Benke have been opposing what has been described as a yes campaign by political operatives for the government. Billboards and banners are hoisted across the community from the referendum unit as well as the citizens for the defense of sovereignty influencing the electorate. A poll of a few residents suggests that they will not go to vote or if they do, will vote no some from an analytical perspective, while others emotional. I already decided my mind to vote no, because I say that if I vote yes, I am giving the land to Guatemala. If I vote no, that means I'm not giving no even an inch of this territory to the Guatemala people. This is not correct to vote yes. Better let us vote no, so they can receive a message from the Belize people to defend their land. I will vote no. Why? Because uh, Mr. George Price said that we will not give not even a square inch of our territory to Guatemala. So Belize has been recognized by the UN, by the Commonwealth, and all non-aligned countries. So why should we go to, to ICJ? Understand? I believe that uh, we should fight for this. If we lose this, you will see the Quetzal flying here all the way to Belmopan. I have uh, made my, my mind a long time ago. I said no. I don't feel we have nothing to negotiate with Guatemala. It is known that since late last year, the referendum unit of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has been carrying out consultations and meetings with residents across the country. But are they being informed enough to make a decision that will determine the future of the next generation? I am um, set on no. Why? Why? Because I have no idea what's going to happen if I vote yes or no. So if, if I have really no idea what, 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 what is going to happen, so I have, I'm just going to stay on no because... Eh. Are you saying that you're not informed enough to make a decision? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I just am thinking I'm not really going to go out to vote. And if I would go out to vote, it would be a no, because so, I'm not really, really that informed. The consequences that, uh, that we don't know what will happen if, if yes, we win or if we don't win. The issue, what are the consequences, we don't know, so it's very dangerous. For most residents, they are making a decision as a family. Gloria Salazar is among a few we spoke to who is saying that after being informed, a yes vote is the way to go. I think we are well informed. 
I think people, um, the government have tried to inform. They have been making all this, but the people, for one reason or are not, are, or another, they are not coming out to hear about this problem. They talk at their home and they have their own decisions, but until that day, we'll know what will happen. I'll vote yes. Can I ask what? Make we go to the one time finish the problem. Could you explain to us why, how you've made, how you came to make your decision? Because if we if we don't vote yes, this problem will continue. Norman Reyes, a former educator who is originally from Sukkots but has been living in Benke for 25 years, says that he did the research himself as well as listened to the proponents and detractors. Reyes says his decision is about country. Before the political parties came and, and interfere, interfering, saying yes or no, I decided myself first. I said no from a long time because I think that this is the future the, of our country, you know, for, for um, our grandchildren. So, so, so your decision is based on what? Well, because I love my country. I love my country and I and I'm willing to fight for my piece of land, no? And I, I don't have nothing against Guatemala because we have a, a lot of families that have families from, from there too. Mm -hmm. But um, the thing is that um, we Belizeans need to be first, okay? And uh, that's why I'm I'm against this this ICJ problem because we have been independent since 1981, and uh, as soon that we were independent, well, we are, it's ours, no? Dwayne Moody for News 5.